What's going on, guys? It's Coach Brian Get Your Fine. And guess what? I'm here with the one and only Miss Josephine. Now, let me tell y'all something. Josephine is a client of mine, and for the past three months, we've been working on getting her held to the next level. So guess what? Let me, let me tell you. Come on, come on, come on, look close. I got a secret for y'all. I gave her my brand new Detox 2.0 to try, and what you are about to see is a Zoom interview about her experience on this brand new Detox that nobody but her got. And guess what? She going to be spilling all the tea. So let's dive in. Yes, I can definitely hear you. I'm putting everything on Do Not Disturb because I don't need any more intrusions for today. <laughs> all good. We're good. <laughs> Bruh, so detox 2.0. I'm just I'm gonna ask questions afterwards. Just go, just okay. tell me everything. Everything I felt like this was a really easy detox to do. Maybe that's just me, but I feel like anyone can do this. I'm like, especially if I can do this, mm -hmm. anyone can do this. But I just felt it wasn't intrusive, it wasn't hard. It, the only hard thing was waking up early. That's the only thing, but that's investing time in yourself. I see it as. Right. Yes, it kind of sucks in the beginning, but it really forces you to prioritize yourself. Definitely. So that's what I kind of liked about it after a while, <laughs> after waking up so early. But uh, other than that, I was hardly ever hungry. That's what a lot of people are scared of or being stuck on the toilet, which I happened to mention in my Instagram. Like, no, you're not stuck on the toilet and mm -hmm. you are eating. But no, I felt like this one is super easy. That's what I really liked about it. Like it was straightforward. Boom, here you go. Like you always do. You usually do. So yeah, like I have no complaints about this one. Really. Okay, so day one to day 10, just walk me through it. How was day one? Day one was super fine. Like, okay, well, waking up early. That's the only thing. Waking up early. Okay, got this. Um, everything was just like boom, boom, boom in the morning, which I loved. It's like, here. At such and such time, drink this, such and such, drink this, like, okay, or eat this. It was straightforward. In the afternoon, it was kind of, I liked that it was a free-for-all, kind of, like, hey, eat your veggies, whatever, or sorry, eat whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, you good, you good, you good. Okay, uh, eat uh, whatever you want, but let's satiate yourself, and it's like, okay, but I'm going to eat this and this. It might be kind of hard for people who don't know the difference between veggies, maybe, like, oh, this is a root vegetable, or this is... um a veggie fruit like maybe I don't now know. how do you I feel just, about the layout then like with that being said there's a you know so as you know in the detox mm -hmm. what well, they don't yet but you know um as far as like the list and the like the like the uh the sample meals that I give throughout the day like do you feel like that's enough clarity for people to grab I think so I would hope so but I don't know people be kind of lost on simple things mm -hmm. but I thought it was straightforward the only thing is the color font I think on the yellow one was kind of harder <laughs> <laughs> that's that's changing don't worry that's, that's okay, changing. that was the only one like i literally had to highlight it just so i could read uh -huh. or zoom in to read that was the only thing but i love the affirmations that was such a nice touch i was like oh hell yeah this is really cool so i like the affirmations i'm like okay i love that i have to say the garlic enema when you switch so, uh, it go go di dive in let's hear about I know, it the garlic enema i felt like that i almost felt like it was celery juice with the garlic uh, well for the people that don't know tell tell them what you because they, they're not going to catch the reference explain no. the celery juice and then compare it to that okay celery juice like that when you drink that it's like boom you're going to the bathroom and you're not just going once you're going like a couple times it's pulling you out mm -hmm. it is it's cleaning you out the garlic enema i felt like did the same thing but it was just one sitting when you right did it. Like, rather boom, than just being just... intrusive throughout the whole day exactly so it's just like one city yeah, that was it i like that one a lot especially paired with the herb mm -hmm. was like day three i felt cleaned out <laughs> so you wasn't even going through like because my, my goal for this one was you know some people are going to have severe detox symptoms some people are not yes. and i feel i feel as though like you know that's everybody's body's different but with this mm -hmm. detox in particular i wanted it to be as comfortable as possible as efficient as possible and pulling people away because like like we said before um, detox symptoms are common and it happens, but there's things that you can do to alleviate it. Reasons why I play certain things in the elements that I did. So as, as to your journey, like did the detox symptoms hit you any particular type of way or was it, you feel like it was just an easy coast throughout? I felt it was an easy coast. The only thing was I felt super drained. I think it was day uh, six or seven. I was just tired the whole day. I'm like, this, uh, this isn't normal. Cause I felt pretty good. The whole detox. I mm -hmm. had energy. I was doing great. Like uh, I was doing awesome. My regular thing. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden that day I was like super tired. Like I wanted to take a nap and I don't nap. I'm like, mm -hmm. I just want to crawl in the bed and do nothing. And then I went to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, I was like, 
I want to take on the world right now. <laughs> I want to do everything. Like, I have mm-hmm. all this energy. So I know I passed something. I did glance. It didn't look any different, but I'm like, I know something's in there, but I'm not digging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, see, and, and I'm glad you said that because mm-hmm. that's typically what happens throughout the detox. And a lot of people would hit that mark day two, three, and four, and just mm-hmm. kind of stay stagnant on that part. But the way I designed this detox was so when it does all that lymph, because essentially what's happened is, your lymphatic system is absorbing all the nutrients. It's gathering mm-hmm. all the waste. It's like, oh, when you're putting stuff in me to push stuff out, let me at least put everything where it goes before we start doing the big push. And mm-hmm. then the sluggishness and the fatigue, whenever all the waste pretty much got down to like the colon and it was time for everything to get out, that's essentially what you was feeling. Your body had needed to, like, to prepare itself. Like once we push this out, we good. But then once the toxins got out, once all the waste got out after accumulated, now you're in a way better place and you and you woke up and you got all the energy back. And that's yep. that was the goal. That was my biggest goal. No, that I was like, whoa, I didn't experience this. No headaches either. In case people get headaches from not eating, that's not the case here. Um, I didn't experience any of that. No like itchiness or I know other detox symptoms people experience. I had none mm-hmm. of that. I was like really like, hey, <laughs> like having a great time on this detox. Right. Uh, but uh, no, no rashes that came up. Uh, no, nothing coming on my eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I feel like too, being that you've done the uh, the parasitic cleanse before, and you was already on a custom cleanse that you and I have both been mm-hmm. working on together to get you together. I feel as though we've done so much cleaning so far to yeah. where it's like anything else that would have hit you or came out was just literally like the nitty gritty. Like, okay, this is the stuff that's kind of been there or stuff we've been mm-hmm. taking a little time to loosen up. So mm-hmm. let's get it out. And I feel like the I average person. No, oh. Yeah, no, it was. I didn't believe it. Yeah, because uh, I wasn't like stuck, nothing. I only lost four pounds, but I, I felt pretty great from it. Cause I'm like, that's not maybe there wasn't a whole lot I had to get out of me. So that made me feel pretty good mm-hmm. that I didn't have a whole bunch of junk sitting in there. And I wish people would like understand how weight works too, because I'm not saying it's not going to be one of those things to where it's like, oh, well, you're not going to lose weight and blah, 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 blah. People need to understand, well, I only lost four or five pounds, but what that scale probably isn't telling you that it was four and five pounds of excess fat things that's been stored up and fat is like let me see if i can grab something like i don't i don't know i have nothing to grab at the moment no i know it's like a whole like yeah it's like imagine huge right so like this imagine this is like three pounds of fat like this is 32 ounce this is 32 ounce jar this is roughly two three pounds of fat this is a lot like this is a lot of space you know so like if somebody is passing like four or five pounds like why don't really, you know, I expected to lose 20, 30, 40 pounds. It's like, well, you probably was dropping a bunch of fat and a bunch of waste and you may not see it initially, but like it's one of those detox to where it's going to pull what needs to be pulled out of you and it's going to work, you know? Exactly. And I don't want people to get discouraged. Like, oh, she only lost a couple of pounds, but it's just like, no, you don't want to lose like 20 pounds in one week. That's not good for your health. You want to do it slow and controlled. And weight loss is like, yes, it's number one, but also your health. Because that's right. how you get to the weight loss. You got to right. get through the first. Right. Get Unless you're off. somebody that just has like a bunch of, like I've had people that had like a bunch of, their body was just holding on to a bunch of stuff and it was waiting for that moment mm-hmm. to get stuff out. So you got some people that do drop 12 to 20, even 30 pounds sometimes, but I love <laughs> that you have a great, <laughs> I love that you have a great understanding of how the body works and everything like that. And you know, that's, you know, that's, especially with somebody that's been going through the cleanses that you and I've been going through, you know, it's like, you understand that, okay, I've been going through this for the past, it's been like what, six weeks? eight weeks, yes. I want to say, yeah. you know, and it's like, well, if you, it's if you pushing, <laughs> right. So if you pushing like 20, 30 pounds after all of that is like, what's really going on? Exactly. And skin has been popping. I broke out a little bit, but that, mm-hmm. I mean, that's okay. And I think it was mostly hormones because it was all like right here. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, Hey, that's okay. Shout out to Amaris for explaining different positions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was there, but, uh, that was the only thing. And it went away like, boom. Yeah. And that's the beautiful part about it. It's like, it's going to push, you might, you might have little things here and there, but people don't understand that that's just the toxins trying to find its way out because exactly. that, I promise you the average person that's going to do this, their kidneys are either backed up mm-hmm. or their lymphatic system is stagnated or their di- digestive system is offline or is stagnated as well. Cause the average person is constipated. Mm-hmm. So whenever you finally get to the point where your body's trying to release, like, Oh, you have me in release mode. Let's get everything out the skin is technically the third kidney. So people yes. are going to be like, well, what's going on? And then like for that one day, the body's trying to get it all out, get it all out. And exactly. that's, if it even, that's if it even gets to that, that's to each his own. You it know, is. but overall, I feel as though, but I, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I took some, I took my time with this one. No, I'm, I, I'm you so glad you like this one. I enjoyed this one very much. I still, Parasite 2.0 will be like right here. Cause I mm. love that one. Cause I love fruit. 
Mm -hmm. I'm like, I could eat fruit all day. I have no problem with that. Like when 12 o'clock or sorry, the time hit, I'd be like, I miss my fruit. (laughs) (laughs) What am I going to eat now? Okay. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But uh, no, this one. Yeah. I, like I said, it's flexible, which yeah, you can have a lot more fruit options or a lot more options to eat. So that Mm -hmm. was really, that helped out a lot. And it could be a little bit more creative with this one too, where people are like, oh, I don't want to eat the same thing every day. It's like, well, you're not going to face it with this problem. So. Right. And that's why I try to turn it into like subgroups. It's like you have mm-hmm. a mock schedule of like, okay, well, if you don't know what to do, here's a great way to get these things going. But at the same time, if you sit down and thoroughly read it through, it's like, oh, okay, okay, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. And then like you can mix it because like notice each day had a certain specific type of grouping yep. rather than like, oh, well, go eat this. Cause I know like me personally, I like, I like a regimen, but at the same time, mm-hmm. I like options, you know? So whenever I was sitting down developing this and putting this together, I was like, okay, I need something that's going to target the kidneys. I need something that's going to target. Cause what people really like, and I, I, I wish I can really go in depth with it on the, the detox, how I wanted to, but a lot of people is not going to catch it's it. How most it. of us catch it, but like <laughs> in that too, but um, most, if you notice certain days really targeted certain glands and certain, or like granted, if you do well mm-hmm. by the body, if you do well by one system, vicariously everything else is going to you know it's, it's a system so everything's going to have to do its job mm-hmm. but like everything kind of coincides to one particular day that's mm-hmm. why by the time you say like what day five day six is whenever you had that big push it makes sense because we didn't woke up these glands we didn't woke up these organs and tissues everything is releasing and releasing and releasing is get dumped into the gut and that then your body's so like Woo! And then, you know you see what i'm saying like yeah, i, so I took sense. my time with this stuff bro like i was really i was did. ready <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, because day three it was like boom, and then like day six was like boom. I'm like, okay, and then the last couple of days, which happened to be my favorite day, mm-hmm. <laughs> so they were so good. But uh, we made it. We no, made it good. So, uh, because it was all melons. Ah, uh, true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love that one, and I did not like did not like the days where there was no coconut water because I, <laughs> well, I, I didn't want to overload y'all. The average person, I know. you know, <laughs> when you had the day where it was like coach's cocktail fruit coach's cocktail fruit coach's cocktail mm. i was like i was having the time of my life with this yeah. one. i was like this is great this is a delicious day so question being yeah. that the first pretty much half of the day is designed a specific mm-hmm. type of way but then i kind of give leniency towards the second half of the day what what were your urges being that like you was already on this regiment the first part of the day but then it's kind of like you said free range but still kind of constricted to within the yeah. detox options is like what how did that feel? Like, what did it feel like going from that to like, well, I can kind of do what I want in the sense, but like, did you, you know, or did you like kind of want to stick to a certain mindset? I do. Uh, I always want to stick to fruit. Like I always like want to just go grab a handful of berries or dates, like boom. I just, that's what I kind of missed. Like, oh, it's like two o'clock. I can't go grab a handful of this. I can't eat mm-hmm. that. I got to stick to veggies. What can mm-hmm. I eat with veggies? And like, try to be creative with them. Cause like, at least with fruit, you just like open it up or peel it away. Ready to go. Ready to go. Mm-hmm. And then with certain veggies, like, oh, like do I cook it? Like some of them are okay raw. And uh, that was the only thing was like trying to figure something out, kind of being lost. Like, oh, what could I eat? Or what could I do that? with this so i would just bust open avocado yeah <laughs> call it a friend. day <laughs> exactly like i'm pretty simple as long as it's simple like i'm an avocado or whatever i'm fine mm-hmm. but I'm that was, for it. yeah that was the only thing but yeah just being like oh what can i eat hmm, now i'm like i have all this free range like oh goodness what am i gonna do with it so mm-hmm. much power because i want to give people like choice but i didn't want to send them into like a place to where it's like I have so many choices and options I don't know what to do but at the same time like I said before I had like well they'll see whenever they get it it's so it's you have guidance even in your free zone like you have so much guidance Mm -hmm. you know so oh that's another thing I want to ask you so I know we kind of already talked about the enema but like what's different about this one as opposed to the last one from the last detox the very first one the 10 the very first 10 day yeah or 10 day uh the very first one uh I didn't feel like a whole lot came out when I did that edema not as much as this one Mm -hmm. but that could have been pairing with the garlic and the fruits where you Mm -hmm. had a little emotion because I I would do the edema for the first very first 10 day detox and uh, like some would come out but not like this one where I thought did I drink celery juice Mm -hmm. (laughs) it damn well feels like I did exactly but that's why I'm like, okay, maybe it was a mixture of the garlic and the fruit, um, the food choices throughout the day. Most definitely. Bro, I'm so, ah, I'm so, I'm so I'm, glad. This one was good. I feel like people like would be drawn to this one because there's a lot more options. Like the first one, you can do it. 
Like, come on, people. The very first 10-day de mm -hmm. detox, it just takes dedication, just like this one, waking up at 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. It's like, how much are you willing to invest in yourself to do this? That, exactly. So what do you feel like are, are people's biggest, like, what, what makes a person, because I mean, I, I have a hard time, like, kind of conceptualizing what I'm about to ask you, because to me, it's like, okay, this is what we're supposed to do. Let's do it. This is healthy. Let's do it. But what stops the average person from seeing things like the detox is that in the third, like, what makes them apprehensive about it? I don't know, because I just do it. That's just my mentality, though. I'm like, oh, you want me to do this? Okay, I'm going to do that. And I'll tell you how I feel after. <laughs> mm -hmm. where it's hard. I think for this one, it's just a lifestyle change. It's like, oh, I can't eat what I want to usually eat. Oh, I can't um, do what I usually want to do. Like, oh, you got to wake up at this certain time and drink this. Well, like, I don't, I want real food. Like, this is all juices, basically. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, well, how much do you want to invest in your health? Like, give it exactly. a shot a couple of days and exactly. see how you feel. It really is an experiment. I think people are really into their routine and it's hard breaking their routine. It's Definitely. The hardest thing is breaking your food habits, too. Definitely like a whole change from that but I think if I can do this because I'm a very stubborn person yeah. <laughs> that the uh, average person can do this too uh -huh. mm -hmm. that makes sense I'm, yeah. I'm so here for it but I'm, I'm glad you liked it overall it took man shout out to Chelsea and Moss because like I was on that thing sitting it back you fix this and fix this I was like <laughs> all right cool because like for me I go into like this mode of just creating and mm -hmm. then like I know what works and how to put it together but then mm -hmm. I have to make sure that like my grammar is correct because I'm just typing all fast and I have yeah. to make sure I'm not just going overboard with it because mm -hmm. the thing I learned about myself is that not only am I a mono eater like I can do the same thing over and over and over again but I can be a, a bit of an extremist so it's like once mm -hmm. I know something works and I'm here for it I can just get locked onto it and that's just me and I had to kind of open my mind up more mm -hmm. so for people because I like in the midst of me saying that I'm, I that's my way of being gentle with myself and that does not equate to somebody else's way of being that's gentle right. to themselves so for me it was like okay let me give you order let me give you a structure but at the same time here's another direction you can go while in here but it's still all one like that's the thing they don't realize well most people probably not even gonna realize it's like you have leeway but mm -hmm. you're still within restrictions that's going to yeah. detoxify your body yeah when I saw you put bananas on there I was like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> <There's bananas." laughs> But I think it's just people have, if you could buy it, you should do it. Okay. Definitely. You're putting money up for this protocol. Do it. Follow through on it. Definitely. Most definitely. I'm, I'm so, bro, I'm so excited to launch this thing because at, at this point, we put so much work. <laughs> like, and if people yeah. don't see what's going on behind the scenes, like we doing this, we develop an app, we get all this other stuff together. It's like, I made sure that I wasn't brain dead or brain fog mm -hmm. to make sure mm -hmm. I put the, the most amount of quality information into this thing because mm -hmm. look, I was not taking any steps back. We're only going no. forward. And I forgot to add, I had a lot of mental clarity because the you know my work, I have to be really focused and paying attention. This, I was like, boom, 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 like focused, especially because mm -hmm. I was getting some sleep on this <laughs> yeah i was staying up later but i was like when i went to bed i went to bed i wasn't struggling mm -hmm. to go to sleep either. so well, that, that brings up a question so yeah. how was how was your quality of sleep throughout the entire detox it was a lot better honestly like way before that or uh because i don't know i go to bed when i go to bed I f no i feel it i feel it <laughs> and then i wake up when i wake when i have to wake up for work but mm -hmm. uh no my quality of sleep i was deep sleeping like i the minute i closed my eyes out Oh, when before yes. I would like have to imagine myself on the cloud to go to sleep but I was like boom out but it could have been because we're waking up early <laughs> and my body's like go to bed yeah yeah <laughs> once you put like, yourself in that structure your body kind of starts to acclimate to it exactly so um but I uh, know I felt when I went to bed I went to bed so I didn't have to freaking like meditate or like on the cloud and it's just like knock lights out like boom done I'm here for it, bro. It's well, it's well deserved. Yeah, this well one is deserved. really flexible. If people are struggling to do that, I'd be like, uh, you can do this. <laughs> this Definitely. one's not hard. Yeah, I want to. Well, I, I want to go big now. with this one. I say that now, but because <laughs> no, I already did things. But I don't. I don't feel like. See, that's the thing. Like when I sat back and compared this one to the last one, it's it is a lot more. It, it's like it is a lot easier because it was one of those things to where. You're not waking up at this time and you have to chug down this amount of distilled water and then you got to do this particular. Because to me, like when I did my first one and I was going through it, the part that I hated the most was like the um the garlic shots and stuff like that in the morning. It was like, and, and it, don't get me wrong, like the liver flush, it works, but it's like mm -hmm. 
man, I hate this, you know, but like, yeah. cause you know me, I'm a sweets person too. I like mm-hmm. fruits and stuff like that. So when I sat down and did this one and I was like implementing and looking around it's like, okay, if I formulate this, cause I do this on a normal day to basis, then I put these mm-hmm. formulas together and I put these, okay, this herb goes well with here and this goes with here, you know, and it's like, all right, let's see what happens. And then I started doing it. You guys started doing it. And then like implementing pretty much everything that I know up until that point. And it's like, this is smooth. Like, this yeah. is really, really smooth. But I, I want yeah, to show people you can, tra- even if you want to transition with it, like, it's one of those things to where it's going to get the job done and some. Yeah, I did a little thing. I forgot to tell you about it with the garlic because my blender wasn't blending it really well. Dang. So, like, for the first five days, I get, like, chunks of garlic, and I didn't like the texture. So, I <laughs> oh, just dang. chugged it down. So, like, uh. last five days, I know. Last five days, I just ate the garlic and then, like, chugged, like, water. And Like, you the chewed pumpkin. the garlic? I just chewed it. Ooh, I'm, you I'm, I'm like I'm bad like that though I'm like whatever like let's just do this my I nose the same, so if people don't like the texture like yeah well that's why I said to blend it because it, it helps with that because I'm a I'm a nose person like my sense of oh, smell okay. is crazy so yeah. to say you chew through it I'm sitting there like oh that's a challenge <laughs> that is, is a challenge I was just like eh, I could do papaya seeds and be fine I don't know I'm built weird <laughs> you feel different you built for battle <laughs> I know so I was like I was just doing that the last five days I still got the same results I still felt okay afterwards I did have a question about the pumpkin extract mm-hmm. what was the reasoning behind that because I didn't really see anything online for like what it does so essentially like especially for, for men too granted it's for everybody but uh, just mm-hmm. to talk more so on the men's side first it's really good like whenever we're uh, especially when men are detoxifying and things of that nature and mm-hmm. we're getting things out of our body a lot of gunk and a lot of fluid tends to build up in our prostate because our and our prostate is right next to um uh, right next to our reproductive mm-hmm. organs i'm, I'm watching what i say so this don't get taken out anywhere exactly but like it's right next to our reproductive organs and people don't realize like it's it's literally mm-hmm. like skin to, like skin to skin texture to mm-hmm. texture so sometimes some of that stuff leaks into there or it gets clogged up so what the oil does and what the pumpkin does exactly is like it goes in there, it tears down all the minerals, it gets the gunk out and it pushes out. And especially for whenever, um, for what just, this is the more universal uh, term, it's really good for digestion. It's really okay. good to get the digestive enzymes going. It's really good to help. Because like if you notice, when you did pass the hardest stuff, it probably was a fluid movement, right? Mm-hmm. It was like, boom, out. You know I'm I'm saying? Potty potty. I'm a squatty potty, so that helps. Too. Me, hey, me too. <laughs> That's look, a game changer. <laughs> we got this toilet. I'm six feet tall, bro. I ain't that tall, but my legs are long. I'm sitting there like, we got to get this out of here. Like, <laughs> That's how you're supposed to be. So it's like a fiber kind of. Like yeah, it, almost like well, an enzyme breaking it down okay. yeah it's just it's really good man it's just like really good for the body it's extremely okay. good like it, it's one of the things where it's like once you really take the time to like figure mm-hmm. out like okay well what exactly is going on and why but then you think about prime example let's think about pumpkin seeds what are pumpkin seeds really good for parasites mm-hmm. you know so it's not it's not a one-stop shop but like if you oh. add that to everything else that we have going on inside the detox like let's say you did have an excessive amount of parasites or you had some little stragglers that was time to go it probably would have helped with that you know mm-hmm. but that's it's just one of the things where it's like you're putting like a a, a, a good <laughs> thumbs up at the end of a whatever it's like okay let's put a good stamp on it mm-hmm a little okay, safeguard okay. okay that makes sense because like huh i didn't really maybe fiber i was like thinking about pumpkin i'm like hmm, maybe it's not but that's good to know pumpkin's really really good I'm like i don't know oh another thing for people i had like three neighbors come up to me like what the hell are you doing you look oh. amazing <laughs> they're like what's happening i was like coach brian here's Got that detox glow yeah exactly i was like coach brian here's his instagram at three different people like all during this week like, what good. are you doing your skin looks great and this and that i'm like coach fine <laughs> and everybody be you know the crazy part everybody asks me is like well, what is your skin routine was this that and the third and it's like if y'all should just literally drink a bunch of a bunch of fruit juice every day eat a bunch of fruits and well for me for it's berries and things of that nature and it really just cut i ain't saying you ain't really got to go meatless even though i tell people if you do that's even better but i just mm-hmm. cut back on the meats you'll see like for me like chlorophyll water, when I first got into it, did really good for my skin, really good for mm-hmm. just deodorizing my, my insides in general. You know, a lot, y'all know me, a lot of berry juice. Um, mm-hmm. Lately, I've been on like a lot of ginger uh, tea, a lot of uh, lemon tea. I did peppermint tea. I've been mm-hmm. doing, um, uh, what else we did the other day? It was some other tea I, I've been, I've been just doing a lot of experiments out of my house. I was messing with Solomon Seal. I was messing with Sage. I was messing with, um, I forgot, it was something else I was messing with. But like, essentially like, I was taking all of those components and experimenting mm-hmm. here and there. And it's you like, if to. y'all, exactly. It's like, if you just live a better holistic life and like implement all these things within your life, you don't have to put all this stuff on your face. You don't have to walk. Cause the only reason why, like I keep trying to tell people, 
the biggest reason why people have skin problems is because your kidneys are backed up. When yeah. your kidneys are backed up, it doesn't filtrate. And then the backup, which is a whole bunch of wastes and acids, it goes, it tries to alleviate itself. Your skin is basically take a poop. Y'all yeah. done heard me say this 10,000 times. Yeah. Your skin is trying to take a poop on itself. So yeah. the acne and all of that, like you ever notice like when people pop it, it scars or like it mm-hmm. burns or something like that. It's a whole bunch of acidic waste. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if, if your body can't get out one way, it's going to get out another way. And that's why I keep that's trying to tell people is like, I don't really have a set skin routine i make sure that i drink a lot of fruit juice i drink a lot of distilled water if i'm not doing fruit juice a lot of i've been doing my coconut water i kind of been cutting back because i ain't gonna lie, i've been doing too much i've been doing too much like i've been um, it's too it's too much so yeah. um with coconut water here and there and doing it regularly and just eating well and doing and filling my body out and doing what i have to do with my body and then take care of your skin inside out exactly you are what you eat that's why i don't literally people don't understand because really i think 30 days your skin changes and that's what becomes what you, you are becoming. They're gonna figure need. it out eventually. That's that's why people like us are on this earth to get it done and spread the awareness. Exactly. Because I've always had good skin, but then I started drinking fruit juices and you told me to do this, that my skin game went like way up here. Mm-hmm. Like we're it's a game changer. It. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, and plus I do a body by towel. I have her stuff. <laughs> I just got her deodorant and her lip balm. It works amazing. Okay, works, I do her well. anti-aging. <laughs> but that stuff. I recommend it. It's She's all her natural. Body I butter. love it. Mm-hmm. But uh, no, but I think everyone, this is doable. This is really the only thing people I think are going to have flack waking up early. But I woke up late I, twice for on the last day. I woke up late by accident because I didn't hear my clock. <laughs> Sleeping Google good. It's Sleeping a Google good. home. I slept until like an hour and a half later. Yeah. But I still got everything done. I'm like, I just made sure like to stay on top of it and uh, just do it. Like you said, every but hour. I mean, but it's flexible. You know, it's like yeah. even though you woke up late, there's like you still had more than enough time because you gotta think about it. You mm-hmm. woke up late, but the first thing you did, if you even you was just like if you woke up an hour late, you still had enough time to do X, Y, and Z. Exactly. It's like you're still starting your day off with the things that's gonna plunge all of the gunk up out of you. So exactly. it's not a lose lose. It's a win win. Like there's literally no way to fail with this detox at all. No, there really is. It's so all like I just kept on it. Just be consistent. Just keep on going. Like you mess up, just keep on going. Like, exactly. The important part is you finish it. <laughs> Bro, I'm so proud. I can't. Oh, I'm so proud. Yeah, of this no, this one, this one in the Parasite 2.0 will always be right here. Like I could see myself doing this on a daily basis. Like today, I had fruits and uh, fruit juices in the morning and then 12 o'clock hit i ate something i forgot sweet potatoes oh well then shoot you good then yeah i know it's like so i've just been doing that and it's actually been pretty easier to implement in my lifestyle but i work from home so it's easier said than said. <laughs> but you know what's crazy a lot of people are actually starting to work from home so i mean yeah. it, it's, it might be one of those things that just take off like that and i'm okay with it because we spread yeah. it around the world shoot that's i'm exactly. okay with that yeah. I know. I think it's a lot better. And even if I did have to go to work, it's not that so invasive or you're not stuck in the toilet. You're not going to the bathroom 24 mm-hmm. seven, but you could do this. You're not feeling sick. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Not. Exactly. It, it is doable. If I had to go to my job and do this, I would still do it. <laughs> it's bro, not that hard. I'm so proud of you, bro. You always get the job done. You, and you always come back with the real feedback. Yeah, because I have to let you know, hey, this worked or not. <laughs> and I'm like, this one, it worked. I'm just but ready yeah, to see I, what I everybody else hops into it. Would you say? Right. Huh? What was that? I said, I recommend this. Like, if people want to do it, ready to detox, this one's really flexible. I still would keep the other one. Because <laughs> you never know. You just like all of them. <laughs> I do because, like, they give me results. They give me what I need, what I'm looking for. But like, okay, yes, weight loss is part of it, but also everything else spiritually too this was yeah. not spiritually invasive let's i'm about to say let's dive into that um mm-hmm. man we, it, it just keeps getting better and better let's dive into the affirmations part i liked it because it really just set the tone for the day like you just say uh, if people don't do affirmations they should <laughs> they are really helpful especially it's just like praying starting off mm-hmm. the day right or ending the day right and i i gotta say uh it really just set the tone for the day which that's what affirmations do and it's like okay putting me in the right mindset like let's do this today like just getting the motivation getting this done and then the last one where it says have a drink on me what was the drink (laughs) (laughs) better be some one of them drinks that y'all didn't had on the detox because look (laughs) right i know but no it was a nice addition because it's like hey you are this is also a spiritual journey is it right it's a reminder like it we're all you're all connected to everything within yourself Mm -hmm. and it's good because like you have our back if you people feel alone 
doing this it's like dude no you have a support system like coaches there for you and like say these affirmations and that's what i want i want to create like a sense of community like that's like Mm -hmm. once people really tap into this stuff and be like oh that's how this works and then you have other people who have done it and Mm -hmm. then like because like prime example you know whenever other videos kind of went viral on tiktok you know a lot of you guys hover around the videos and communicate amongst the comment section stuff like that i love how before i can even get to some of the questions and some of the comments in the uh, comment section you guys were not only answering but answering correctly. Now, not granted, mm-hmm. if I see something wrong or what I feel as though doesn't really, you know, like yeah. I, I'll do my thing, but like, it's rare. Mm-hmm. It's so rare. And like, that's what makes me happy because these are people that have done my protocols, that have done my detoxes, that watched the videos, that have taken the time to go get the books that I talk about and read, you know, and like, and just do their due diligence. And like, it makes me so happy, mm-hmm. man. It makes no, me so I happy. I don't mind if people want to ask me or like, hey, like, how'd you go through this? Like, you can message me. I don't yeah. mind. Like, I've been through it too, dude. Like I get it. I need, bro. I we need to get you to a thousand followers. I'm at two hundred thirty. I'm at two hundred thirty now because uh, I forgot her name. I think her name is Uniquely Truly or Mama Mama something. Mm -hmm. She sent me the video, so I've been trying to get there. I'm at two hundred thirty. Just, bro, please, because the moment you're gonna get up there, I'm gonna bombard you with live requests. Like, hey, y'all wanna know right, where it's real at? Um, yeah. Moonbeam, come up on here, let's talk. <laughs> exactly, because I'll I'll give it to you straight. I'll let you know. Hey, like you're gonna have to do this. Like, just gotta do it. Sorry. <laughs> and then plus the conversation we already have, like we're gonna be on there for hours. We got to shut it down. <laughs> You gotta give me a time limit because I could talk forever. <laughs> it's good conversation though. It's really good conversation. No, but I'm like telling everyone you should do this detox. You should do this. Coach Brian's gonna drop it just so you know. Most That'd definitely. Great. That Everyone gives me an idea. I, I there's some people I'm, I might need to reach out to just to kind of get them to do it and be like, you know what? I need you to talk about this and let's do an interview. Just do it so we can have something to talk about together. Yeah, especially different personality types. Mm-hmm. It'll reach different audiences too that could maybe connect with them better. Because I'm yeah, just like, just do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. just like, just do it. <laughs> Trust we'll me on it. See. Like I cried when I did the first detox. Like I missed my, that was the only thing I missed my eating habits. But now like my eating habits have changed so much. I'm a lot happier. And, and that's essentially happier. what happens. I mean, you start... People, that's because like I always tell people, especially when I go live, you hear this a lot. It's hard to break 20, 30, 40 plus years of whatever you've been doing. Like your body's going to be like, this is how we've been doing things. Your mind's going to be like, what is going on? But then whenever you your body starts to let go and allow and you mentally start, because you got to realize people fail to realize that every trillion billion cells that's in your body mm-hmm. is listening to everything that comes out of your mouth and was in your brain. So until you start mentally accepting it and like doing research and becoming more okay with it, your body's going to still kind of reject it because it's like, well, you don't really feel wholehearted about this. And we wanted, we, I mean, we know what's about to happen, but if you ain't shooting us the right signals, then we not balanced, you know, but I love the fact that you took the time to overcome whatever you had to go through mentally and then look at you now a way better place. Exactly, And that's what also to add on to that with affirmations you're putting it out there so you're setting yourself up to make it through the day most definitely through this detox i don't know people just do it <laughs> like coach help you honestly <laughs> but no that's all i gotta really say i think i hit everything i wrote notes <laughs> i saw sure. you looking i was like I was yeah like, she came prepared I wrote notes to make sure because i talk a lot but yeah no i hit everything okay good reasons why i trusted you to do this because you're going to get the job done and you're going to be transparent about every moment of it exactly exactly i know i'm going to write like goodbye posts i just i don't know life got busy last couple of days and social media is a lot it dude, I gave you kudos. yes yes it yeah it was really draining i'm like oh my gosh I was like i don't know how you guys do this or make money from this i'm like i, I i'm not even gonna lie to you in just a transparent moment it's like I, I remember whenever I first went viral before the big boom and like the amount of backlash that I got from because like, you know, you got the people that's like, oh, yeah, holistic life and blah, 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 blah. And then you have people who don't care if you even wake up tomorrow and just feel like they got to say something and be evil and just yeah. go out there way to, you know, to like really be belligerent mm-hmm. and ignorant and like it was it was crazy. And I was like this is a lot because you you're faced with choices every every moment you have you have a choice to make or a decision to make in that moment and i had to watch everything i said i had to watch every step i take because you know people are looking to pull you down and take something out of context but at the end of the day what 
helped me out and what kept me going is that to the core of who I am and what I do, I'm authentic and I'm transparent. So I didn't have to keep up with a facade or a character on social media. I just had to keep being myself, Exactly. you know, and like that, that's one thing I'm grateful for that. It's not like, I'm not on here trying to scam people and like, like be something that I'm not. It's Mm -hmm. like, I'm, I want to show people that like, I'm no less and no greater than y'all. I just chose to study this thing a little bit more than you guys and a little bit longer than you guys. So I'm just handing out the keys and doing what I can. And I turned this into something, you know, that I can do for the rest of my life, Mm -hmm. you know, and people just need to understand that, you know, not everybody's out here to hurt you or or get you. Um, I'm one of those people to where it's like, and, and you know, I mean, and granted, everybody watching it like, well, oh, he knows her. Y'all can just go look in the comment section and look around or just ask about me. It's like, I take my time. Like, I read, I study, I practice, I examine, I experiment. It's like, I'm not just out here like, well, Google said. It's like, no, like, I'm out here paying for two, three hundred dollar nutritional science books. You know, it's like, got all my holistic books and like reading on like case studies and like experiment studies. Like, like every day I'm cramming my head with knowledge. We're working on videos to give to people. Like, it, it's a lot. I'm not even gonna sit here and just, it, it's a I lot, know. you know, it's but just, like, it's just people don't want to do it instead of just going on, they lash out at you because they have something themselves they need to fix. And you right. just happen to be there because you're such a good person. Right. And instead of, hey, asking you for help, they'll just rather hurt you. Yeah. And nobody, I feel like nobody, well, I ain't going to say nobody because that, that would be me being disrespectful to everybody, like people like you to actually support me. But it showed me how many people didn't really care. And I did, I, I didn't like, I wasn't hurt, hurt by it, but it did make me feel some type of way. And I was like, do I really want to keep doing this? Because like, it hurts to like to, yeah. to take time and like study this stuff and do this stuff and put stuff out and wake people don't see me waking up early in the morning to make this content and put the lights together and make sure I'm presentable and I have to because you gotta think about it. I could be up here like, yes, pumpkins are really grateful for I could just be talking, but like people want to see you. me. You know what I'm saying? People want to <laughs> see me. You. So yeah. five, six, seven o'clock in the morning, I have to wake up and beat Coach Brian and like give people information. I have to go live almost every day, talk and answer questions two, three hours at a time. You know, like people don't see the work and the transparency that I'm trying to deliver to people and then to go yeah. through the comment sections and just see all the hate and stuff. I'm like, bro, y'all, y'all took this out of, you know, like it went out of line, but yeah. I'm healed from it. You know, I've learned from it. Shout out to Chelsea Moss and people like you guys who like really just kept me focused and like did what I had and kept me doing what I had to do because it was disheartening. I'm not even gonna lie. It was really disheartening, Mm -hmm. but you know, my love for people and my love for not only myself, but like to get things out to people, it superseded all of that, you know? Yeah. It's just like something you had to go through and maybe to get to another level that you needed to be at. It sucked, but like, how life happens yeah. i'm speaking it like this month on mm-hmm. out like it's about to be great it's gonna it's gonna be amazing like all the amount of work we've been putting in mm-hmm. all the revamping we've been doing and like all the good news coming back and forth and like the, the new level of focus that's required of me right now is like I'm, I'm speaking it like to god be the glory like everything is going to be everything is going to be amazing everything is going to prosper everything is going to be favorable and like everybody and i pray that like everybody that really grabs a hold of this stuff they get the same thing because mm-hmm. what people fail to realize is that the same thing that you're doing to your body physically and spiritually, it has to coincide one, with one another. So if you're detoxifying yourself and you're speaking these affirmations and you're working on yourself and you're focusing, well, whenever the results come around and you move forward in life, it's like, hmm, this money came out of nowhere. Oh, this happiness came out of nowhere. I mm-hmm. think differently. It's like you've taken the time to get the clutter out the way. Exactly. That's what you're doing. That's what the detox is meant. You're getting all mm-hmm. that clutter out. You bring in the good, the positive. Exactly. The negative. But I know, I hope people do this. Like really invest in themselves because this, this is really good. It's not, it's not hard. <laughs> That's what it's it's next it. level, bro. It's next level. It I'm here for it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, but I'm telling everyone about it. Wait till it drops. Get this stuff out. <laughs> I'm waiting for the it's after It's going to be drop. soon. It, it's coming so. soon. It's coming. We just, we're like, we had a meeting today. Well, I'll, that'll be an outside conversation. But I just said it. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. But thank you so much for your time. I'm glad that you're always there when I call. Yes. And we, you already know, we're going to chop it up. We got a lot more stuff I'm going to be giving you. I know. I'm excited for it. And I, and I enjoyed the last two books you sent me, the Af- a holistic African Holistic Health and the mm-hmm. last book, The Remedies. Hey, that Remedies book? Game yeah. changer, huh? It is. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, because I got a couple of warts. I'm like, I'm going to try the garlic paste on them, see how it yeah. goes. Another thing, I had like three warts on my fingers they're already like shrinking yeah I'm pretty sure that's from the detox oh yeah it's gonna get the job done it is I'm like hmm like damn I didn't Mm -hmm. I didn't think about that and I just hope people like do what you're doing 
take it personal and like, okay, this works for me. This doesn't work for me. This works best for me. This feels great. Okay. I noticed this, but then this goes away. Like it's the little, like, you see what you're doing. You're implementing it inside of your life. And that's what they need to do. Exactly. Like food tracking, like track your food, like track your meditations, the dream journals. It's all, it all goes together. Like, I know it's like, oh, it's a lot of work, but if you have time for social media, you can, you have time for this. Right. And people, and I give you kudos again, social media sucks. <laughs> just it's doing the lot. little videos I was doing, I'm like, this is a lot of work. It's a lot. People think we just get on here and be like, ah, it's like, no, you got to come correct. <laughs> you got to come correct. You have to follow trends. You have to use trending sounds. You got to figure out what people like. And then you got to find a way to be yourself and put your information in there without looking corny. Like it's, don't even get me started. Don't even get me started yeah, with that stuff. No, bro. I was just like, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know what? That's good enough. I'm just like, send it, and like post it, whatever. That's it. Yeah, thank I'm you, not... by the way. Thank you, by the way, for doing up for doing all of that. I promise. I promise to do the the summer summarize. Like, just mm-hmm. get it, people. <laughs> Most definitely. But, you know, we'll be open here talking all day. Thank you so much for your time, bro. I appreciate you tremendously. Oh, anytime. Like, people just do it. I hopped in and did it, okay? And hopefully other people do it, too, because there's a lot of sick people out there, like you say. Most definitely. A lot of people that need this. All right. Well, you have a good one. I'll talk to you, you later. Coach. Bye. Bye. <laughs>